Hi, thanks for checking out the video for PicPuller for Instagram. I'm going to walk you through the process of setting it up just so you can see how it's done. Um, I've just installed the PicPuller for Instagram module into my system expression engine and then third party folder in my expression engine installation on my server. And I've come to the module screen and I see it here. I'm going to click it and that will take me to the modules homepage. And you'll see three steps here, and we're gonna walk through them and get this set up. So the first thing it says to do is, if you haven't created an application, go to the Instagram application creation page. So I'm gonna do that. I've already created the application I'm gonna be showing you. I'm not in the, going to save this, but I'll kind of walk you through this. Application name. This application name is actually gonna be seen by your users. Most likely that user is just you. But if you have multiple users using PickPuller, they'll all see that name. So make it not too dirty, <laughs> but some, or make, make it something that, you know, is easily identifiable. I think I called mine PickPuller ex Expression Application. And my description was this exists within my website. You know, it, it can be whatever. Description describes your application. Website. The URL that I'm actually demoing this on is uh, called Instashow EE. Yes, that's the previous name I picked for the module, but I changed my mind. I'm not going to use that anymore, but this is what I've got for my test. Then it says OAuth redirection URL. What's that? Okay, look back at your module page. And the module generates this for you. It, it figures out what this URL needs to be. So I'm just going to cut and paste that into Instagram's um, settings, and then I would hit register. Then it would go through and it would create the application. It would show you a screen like this. Let me close this and open up the screen of the actual application. And this first application at the top is the application that I'm demoing today. What I'm gonna need from here is the client ID and the client secret. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard, go back into the module and paste that in here. This client secret, which is really your password that Instagram has created for you for the application is here. And I'm gonna paste that in here. And then I would hit submit in the module. And you get a confirmation screen that says success. You've saved your Instagram application into Expression Engine, just confirms what it's saved into the database. And now you need to follow the next steps, which is to go back to the home page of the module. All right, now you'll see that step one and step two have been checked off. Now you have to have a, a user authorize this application. Most likely that's gonna be either you, if it's like your personal blog or something, or your company's Instagram account. Whosoever account owns the photos that you wanna show, that's who would authorize this. For now, I'm just gonna hit authorize with Instagram, and I'm gonna authorize as myself. You can see it's come up and it says, Instagram wants to authorize. It says, hi, John. This is the name of the app. And you'll see when I hover over it, Instashow EE showed up in my status area. So that's where that information is used. So do you want to authorize this app? I'm going to say yes. And this says success. You have now authorized this site to access your Instagram photos. I'm going to close that window. That causes the pick puller to refresh and shows you that authorization has been successful. If for some reason you wanted to remove that user's access, you could do that here. Let's look at the other things you've got going on in here. The current app info, I'm going to click that, and it shows you that this application, this is the, the data we saved earlier, it's saved the client ID in the database, and it's saved the secret. If you wanted to change that password, you could do that here and edit the secret, update that in the database. So I'm just going to hit cancel, go back. You could also remove this application. This is pretty severe. This removes the application and all of its users. If I hit that, it does warn you and kind of try to dissuade you from doing this because it's fairly uh, severe what you're going to do. So let's click authorize users. All right, so this what this is showing you is all the users, and right now there's only one, of all the users who are part of your, your expression engine install who have authorized your Instagram app. My in expression engine member ID is one, and that's my screen name. And this is my OAuth token. This OAuth token is what 
PicPuller uses to communicate back and forth with Instagram. Now that I have an authorized user, I've actually pre-built some uh, template pages for you to check out. These are the same template pages that you'll find on PicPuller.com as well. Here are some code samples. Let's get look at the user info. This is basically what the template looks like, the EE template, and it's working. It's showing my photo. Media from user one, user one being me, that was the member ID, and there you go. Those are pictures I've been taking. So that's PicPuller in a nutshell. I hope the video was helpful and help you decide if you want to use it. Thanks a lot.